Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome back to another Dutch Leningrad. Um, yeah, love the opening, big fan. Uh, like I always say, it's one of the like four openings that I play. Um, and it's very similar to the opening that I play against E4, which is, well, the Sicilian. I guess it's kind of like reversed. Um, but yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, one of the main ideas really is to push for for e5. Um, yeah, they, they, this is a bit more of an unconventional setup from white, to be fair. Um, but I think the uh, the aim for black still remains the same in just pushing for e5. Now that he's committed his king to this side, uh, I'm going to chase his bishop. Because uh, now, ooh, well, I was about to say if it comes back, then uh, I can win the bishop pair, which I'll do. Um, which also fortifies this square, because now his bishop doesn't attack it and mine does um, with this discovery. So I'm ready to play queen c7 and, uh, and push for e5. This setup, it it's kind of advanced. No, when I say advanced, I don't mean like oh, like beginner, intermediate, advanced. I mean like it's advanced from the king. There's quite a lot of space here, so black could end up coming um, in. Okay, um, that's a bit strange. I'm not gonna lie. Um, has he got ideas of? I mean, like here, but then if he comes there, I can just drop back. I don't really understand. Um, in fact, no, if he comes there, I'll just take actually. Or if he just drops back, maybe he thought he was, I don't know, that that's just a strange move. Um, I don't really see the point of that, it doesn't really gain anything. Um, Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really see the point of that. I mean, he's got this, but I just block everything off if he does that. Um, I mean, okay. <laughs> um, Sure, I'll, I'm fine with this. Um, may, maybe I should be less fine with it. May, maybe this is quite dangerous for for me, but I'll be honest, I really don't see it. Like I say, if he pushes here, I can just block everything off on the queen side, which is where the remainder of his pieces are. Um, the only thing really, really that's left for me to do is just to um, develop the rest of my pieces. Maybe even push these. But I, I think now... I don't know. I kind of want him to blink first. Because if he pushes, that means I can block it off. Whereas if I push first, that means I give him the option to take. Which is what I feel like you might want to do. Um, but I could, I could come here. Which would uh, fortify the centre a bit more. I'm actually going to do that. I'm, I'm even threatening coming in on uh, e2 if he uh, d2 if he if he somehow misses that as well. And to be honest, it might just be a, a trade everything off like kind of moment. Because if I just trade here, then I uh, maybe even bring this bishop in. See, I don't. Yeah, I just don't understand that. I just don't understand that at all. Because now all of these pieces are just useless. Like, yes, he can swap this off. But in chess, a very common, um, like, rule, not really rule, but uh, principle, I guess, is 
to attack the way your pawns are facing. So he he really wants to be attacking on the queen side because that's the way his pawns are are like lined up. Um, yeah, but if, he's just completely blocked everything off. Well, he's allowed me to block everything off. And also now his dark squ his light square bishop's pretty awful because all my pawns are on light squares. Um, and he lets me come here, which I think I can do pretty inconsequentially. I do need to be careful of sacks here, um, but I think for now I'm completely fine on that, in that regard. Um, right, now I've got a decision. I could push or I could take. If I push, that will just run into this, but that's not too much of an issue. Um... But I also don't just want to block things off entirely. Because if I take... I think I'm going to push. And the reason is is because if I take... He can take back with the pawn. And this pawn's quite weak at the moment. Maybe I need to be a little bit careful of him doubling up. But I think my bishop and... Uh, My bishop and rook do quite a good job. Now I think maybe the plan should just be to bust everything open. Yeah, so just... And, and now also, I, I guess I'm kind of threatening this as well, which I don't know if it's m that much of an... Oh, okay. That's an interesting move, which we love. Um, but I think I can take here. And again, if he takes back here, I think I can trade pick up this pawn and then come here and force another trade. And his queen here is not attacking anything that's not being defended. And I should just be uh, up four points of material. Or even I could throw in this. Or actually just take here. That could run into... Hmm. Or maybe I could push. Get past pawn. But then he could take here, I could take, attack the knight. But then he could come here. Okay, no. So that doesn't work. So I think... I think just simple chess. Simple, simple chess, like I always say. Now again, my threat... is uh, trading off more pieces. If you're winning in chess, you can always try and just... Um, trade off pieces... And if you can trade off pieces when you have material advantage, you're left with just your material advantage. Um, and there's no complications in the positions. Okay, now I can just win a pawn. Um...
I, I, I literally can just win this pawn free of charge. Um, so I'm going to. If if he does move, this is this just kind of confuses me. Really, I'm not in a, not in a like bewildered way. Just more in a. Oh, I see now. If I take, he can come here. Oh, okay, that makes sense. All right. I'm less confused now, but um, and uh, actually, that's that's quite good. Um, but I think I I can just trade and then take here again. Does he have any? I mean, he's threatening this now. Um. Maybe he's starting this, but it doesn't do anything but swap off more pieces. Um, I'm going to come here. Uh, A, to win more material. Well, not... I mean, yeah. I've got this if he takes back. Um, now just trade off even more pieces yeah and, and now I'm just a rook up this is this is just completely fine um, let's get the king in first yeah, okay, he resides. Fair enough. Um, that was quite an interesting game. I mean, he did he did kind of just give up some pieces to me. Um, but it'll be interesting to see if I missed anything or if there were any um, any times where he managed to re-equalise or something. <sighs> but, um, yeah, I mean, maybe I could hop in there, but I think this is fine. Uh, I, I don't really know lines where I, where I hop in, so I, I think just sticking to what I know is is better. Did it like? Yeah, yeah. H six was good there. Yeah, and now this. Yeah, minus four. I just, I just didn't understand this one bit. Um, Yeah, developing. This is fine. It it didn't like this either. Yeah, yeah. It, it gave that an, another minus one point five. Um, and then yeah, just winning the. This just seemed fairly straightforward for me. Yeah, it it preferred pushing to taking. Taking was, well, I mean, it's still minus six, uh, but here is minus eight, so. Did it like? I wasn't the hugest fan of taking, uh, not taking, pushing. But to be fair, it, it felt like the position was just very stale. I think, to be fair, coming here, ganging up on the pawn, maybe. Um, oh, actually, to be fair, if I come here, he can't come here because I can take, uh, which would have been interesting. But um, just trading everything again, really. Yeah, I mean, it would have been unfortunate if I'd fell for this. But to be fair, it's not even giving this as um, as as bad for me. It, it's still it's still minus three, um, just because two pieces and a rook for a queen. Um, but yeah, yeah, and and then I think from here it's just pretty routine, just. Trading everything off. 
and then bring the Kings in. Yeah, um, nice, fairly simple win. Um, I, I really don't know what he was thinking here, um, but I think the idea of of bringing my knight here to trade off for the bishops, uh, or for the bishop, and then using um, my dark square bishop to dominate the central dark squares, um, breaking with e five. Um, yeah, it, it's a very common plan in the in the Dutch landing grab and in the Sicilian calm, but with d five instead of e five. If you can get um, the bishop pair, then uh, in these openings, then you're often very uh, doing very well. So that's always something to just keep in mind. But yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching, everyone, and see you in the next one. Goodbye.